So good afternoon, physicist. Good afternoon, Mrs. How are you guys doing? Good. Good. Good as well. Thank you. Um, so today we're going to start our investigation, like I had mentioned, about balance. Okay. And by the end of the lesson, there's two focus questions that I want you to keep in mind that I want you to answer at the end. Okay. The first one: How can we balance objects? How do you know when something is balanced? Okay, can you say it with me? The first question. How can we balance objects? Second one. How do you know when something is balanced? And from both questions, there's a word that comes up in both questions. The word balance. Okay? So I need you to think if, I want you to raise your hand if you've heard the word balance before. Raise your hand. Okay, put your hands down. So 11 of you have heard this word before. Does anybody recognize something with, the, with this word? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it's a cognate, right? So balance or balancea, right? So I want you to think about that. Think of a time where you have balance something or you've seen somebody balance something. Balancear or balance, el balance de algo, okay? I want you to think. An example could be when you first learned to ride your bicycle, your bike, you were trying to balance, okay, on the bike. That's an example, but think in your head. When you have something that you've seen or done, to balance something else, show me with your thumbs that you're ready. Okay. You're going to share with a partner, okay, with your example. And these, this column, you're just going to share with each other, okay, like that. Okay. Get started. Share with your partner. Share what you shared with your partner. Okay? Okay. Christian? Balance is like when you have a ball and you like hold it. Still like if you're like holding it for a long time. Mm -hmm. Holding it where? In your thumb. Okay, your thumb. Your thumb? Okay. Uh-huh. about it and I'll come back, okay? Emily? Balance is when you go to, you can go to the doctor and you balance yourself. Can you show me how you balance at the doctors? She's talking about the balance scale. Who's been to the nurse's office no. at this school? Have you? Has she made you weigh yourself? Yeah. How much you weigh? How heavy you are? Yeah. So that's what she's talking about. That she's used, seen that the balance used when he weighs you, right? Mm -hmm. Balance is when you have the basketball and you spin on your finger. Mm -hmm. And what does the ball do? Spins. Spins where? On your finger. Okay. And does it stay on your finger, or does it go to the ground, come back it up? It stays on your finger. Okay. Uh huh. Yeah, it's when you um, when you want to like stand, but you just um, stand with one foot. Okay. Can you show us? 
If you can do like this and like that. Mm -hmm. Without what? With, with just one foot. Uh -huh. okay. So you guys have great examples about how balance is used. So balance means that you're not falling down. What is balance? Not falling down. Okay. And right now, I want to show you a couple examples about people or things that are balanced. Or maybe they might not be balanced. And I want you to determine whether they're balanced or not balanced. And remember, ba balance is? Not, not falling down. So if something is not balanced, then it's? Not falling down. down. It's the, the opposite. Instead of uh, not, falling, uh, not falling, it's falling down, OK? So let's t take a look at this. I have the sentence frames in case you need it. Whether if it's a, guy, a, a boy, it's a he, and if it's a girl, it's a she. Remember that? Yeah. Okay. Um, is she balanced? No. Okay. She is not balanced. What? Because why? Because she is falling down. Is she falling down? No, no she's not falling down. So she, we say that she is balanced. Balance. Okay, so let's try that again. She, she is balanced because she is not falling down. Okay, she's not falling down. So I'm not looking at the ball, I'm just looking at the girl. She is not falling down. Even though she's playing volleyball, she's not falling down. Okay, so she's balanced. How about the bicyclist? Is he balanced? Yes. No. no. So think about it first, before you answer. Think right now. Everybody, point where you think. Okay, so, all right. So think about it. Balance means not falling down. So think about it. If he's balanced, then he is not falling down. Otherwise, he is not balanced because he is falling down. Okay, so think about it. When you think you have an answer, show me like this. Okay. Now, before you answer, I want to raise it. Raise. I want you to raise your hand, and when I point to the the column, so if it's balanced, you're gonna raise your hand if you think he's balanced, and you're gonna raise your hand if you think he's not balanced. Okay. Ready? When I point, you're gonna raise your hand. Okay. So let me ask you the question again: Is the bicyclist balanced? No. no. Is the boy balanced? Yes. He is balanced because he is not falling down. Excellent. In today's investigation, you're going to work with a trick crayfish. Okay? And uh, the crayfish, the material that you're going to be working is tag board. So you're going to use a tag board crayfish, okay? Okay, so you're going to use it, and you're going to use it to do a special trick. Do you guys want me to show you? Yeah! Okay, so you're going to use it to, what do you think we're going to use it for? What do you think we're going to use it for? Just scare people? <laughs> what do you think, if I have my finger and a crayfish, what are we going to do? Oh. What do you think you can do? Put it in your finger. And what? <laughs> and what? <laughs> not yet, not yet. So what are my finger and the crayfish and the crayfish tag work? What am I gonna do? I'm gonna um, we're actually gonna try to balance it. Okay? So look at how it just with your finger, okay? Because it can make that's a special oh trick. God. Now, actually, you guys are scientists, right? Correct? Yes. So as scientists, you need to pay, pay really close attention to what you're doing, okay? So right now, I'm about to start, and I already didn't pay attention to what I was doing. 
So that's why I needed to refocus and really pay attention to how I'm putting, positioning the crayfish. Okay, so I'm putting it this way. Okay, and I gotta think where I'm gonna put my finger first, so that I remember all this information, so that when we come, when it comes time to do our scientific journals, we remember what we did. Okay, so you have to be very mindful. Okay, so what is mindful, um, Angie? Mm -hmm. Paying attention, right, of what you're doing to the present moment. So I'm going to put it right here. Try to balance. So I'm seeing that I'm putting it closer to the front. And I didn't balance my first time. I'm going to try again. <laughs> yeah, I didn't balance my it. second. But yeah, I'm almost there. Why do you know I'm almost there, Jennifer? Because uh, when you try the first time, um, it was moving a little bit and it fell down. It's just moving a little bit and it fell down. I think I got it. It's balanced. Yeah. My crayfish is balanced. Well, I mean, it's moving. Okay, do you guys see it? Yeah. yeah. It's moving. It is moving. Because my hand is moving. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All right, so now, do you guys think you can investigate, find yeah. out yeah. how you're going to do this? Yeah. But you need to be very observant. Thank you. Okay? Careful, and you have to pay a lot of attention, okay, to what you're doing. Um, can we keep the crayfish? I don't think so, because other students need to use it, okay? Great question, though. Any other question that you may have before you start your investigation? So the only thing you need is the crayfish tag board and your finger. Okay, all right, and you're going to balance the crayfish. Are there any questions? No. Okay, go to your desk carefully and take a, and get your crayfish tag.